Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. A couple of days ago, I posted a video that a new leak had suggested that the Windows 11's File Explorer was going to be getting a new details pane. And uh, um, some other developments regarding the File Explorer, which I have been posting on um, recently, were that uh, we were going to get a new gallery, which was going to appear between the Home and OneDrive, and also recommended content and files um, could also be coming to the File Explorer. And as mentioned, the latest was that new details pane that um, shows you details regarding, um, you know, the actual file or the folder that you've actually clicked on in the uh, details pane to the right of the File Explorer. Now, um, according to recent reports, um, all of these changes are going to be collated uh, into a so-called new File Explorer. Um, which we could be getting later on this year with the feature update for Windows 11, uh, which will be Windows 11 23H2. Um, so that will be this year's um, feature update, 23 being the year the update rolls out, and H2 means it's rolling out uh, in the second half of the year. Now, according to recent reports, there's also a new screenshot that's become available a so-called leak of what the file explorer could look like and this was posted by windows central and just to go through a couple of the key changes just to collate this all uh, for the purpose of today's video now as mentioned um in previous videos there's going to be better integration with onedrive and microsoft 365 and that's a change that has already started to roll out to some extent in the current file explorer in windows 11 and also in the insider program and I think the biggest change here would be the redesigned toolbar um, where we will get a combined address and search bar. So we can see that's a bit of a change. And then also um, other actions like your view, uh, cut, uh, copy, paste and so on are all going to be below the address bar. We're currently uh, in the stable version of Windows 11. These are all found above the address bar. So that's a bit of a, a I think that would be mainly over and above the details pane and gallery and so on. That's going to be your biggest change. And uh, the home page, as mentioned, showing um, recommended content as I have posted on previously from Microsoft 365. And yeah, we can see those thumbnails are a lot larger as well. And um, the navigation pane apparently um, isn't going to be too much different to how it is currently. I think there might be some minor changes like visuals, rounded corners, and also the spacing looks like it might, uh, for touchscreen devices, might be spaced a little bit, uh, you know, wider than it currently is, but not too much really change in there. And then another big one, as I have posted on, is the gallery, which is going to come here between home, be located between home and your OneDrive. And uh, um, that's apparently going to provide better uh, image viewing for your, your uh, pictures uh, in the gallery. Now, it's not too... It's not known exactly at this stage how that's actually going to differ from pictures. But nonetheless, I have posted on that where that was also a leak and a hidden feature spotted in one of the insider uh, builds uh, recently where that gallery is also expected to roll out. And uh, um, th these upgrades to the File Explorer, we are uh, expecting to get at the end of this year, as mentioned, with the uh, 23H2 update. That's the feature update for this year rolling out to Windows 11. And uh, obviously those changes um, will affect the current file explorer and also uh, it will obviously roll out to the uh, insiders in the Windows 11 insider program at first and then through the course of this year will undergo its testing changes and improvements and then hopefully as mentioned uh, we should get that brand new file explorer with a, the, all the different changes as I have collated for you today in this video rolling out with the 23H2 update possibly in October and or November later on this year. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.